Theme Communication Unit Info Point and this is video 6. In previous video tutorials we've used the master slide, we have created titles, added text, images and videos, we've created interactive buttons, two information slides and back to home slides. In this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a quiz using Microsoft PowerPoint. This uh, video tutorial will spread over two videos, so this will be video 6 and video 7 to conclude how we create a quiz in Microsoft PowerPoint. So to start with, the first thing that we'll need is on the home slide, we're going to need a button that will allow you to go to the quiz. Now, first of all, I'm just going to scroll down and check that it's here. Look, quiz question 1 on slide 7 is where I want my button to take me to. So, I'm going to insert a shape and I think for the quiz I might have an arrow. So I've got my arrow shape, I'm going to right click on it, edit the text, take the quiz. I'm just going to stretch this arrow out so that all the text fits on there nicely. I'm going to try and put it in the center as best as I can. And then I'm just going to change its color so that it suits the rest of my presentation. I'm just going to try and use this pink color here to fill it in so that it stands out. Use more fill colors. Maybe use something like that. Um, and then maybe make the font bold. Okay, so I'm quite happy with that. Take the quiz. Now, now I've created my button. The next step is I need to hyperlink that button so that it takes me to the correct slide. So again, we're just going to right click on the arrow hyperlink and I need to go to slide 7 which is the quiz question 1 and press OK. Now I'm just going to check that that works so if I view my show and I click take the quiz it takes me to quiz question 1. Click the button to check that the home slide button works and everything's good. So now my button's ready to take me to the quiz I actually need to write the quiz questions um, and, and we've left that till this stage because as you write the quiz questions it'll help you understand exactly how you make it interactive in terms of how you make sure that if they click on the wrong answer it takes them to this slide and how if they click on the right answer it takes them to the next question or if they've answered all five questions correctly in a row, if they answered the fifth question correctly, it should take them to the well done slide. So, <clears throat> you need to start, first of all, thinking about what sorts of questions that you can ask in your quiz. Now, they're going to be multiple choice questions, and the reason for that is because in our criteria, here it says that the questions must be multiple choice, and that there must be four possible answers for each question. So think about what sort of questions you can ask that will allow you to give a multiple choice answer. And to do that, the best thing to do is to work through each of the five slides that you've created and for each slide come up with one question that you can ask uh, based on their understanding that they should have gained from that slide's information. So from this slide, I'm just going to read the information and I think the first question that I might ask is, what does CPU stand for? So if the person who's using this resource has read this slide correctly, they should understand that the correct answer is central processing unit. So I'm going to scroll down to quiz question one, and in here, I'm going to ask my question. What does CPU stand for? Make sure you have a question mark at the end of your question, and then you need to write down the possible responses or the possible answers uh, that could be given. So you decide where you want to put the correct answer. I'm actually going to put the correct answer as the first bullet point. So central processing unit. I then need to give three incorrect answers. So um, can put units. I'm just going to pause the video tutorial whilst I put three incorrect answers. You can see that I've got my correct answer and my three incorrect answers. And all I'm going to do before I finish this video is I'm just going to select these answers and I'm going to put a numbered list instead of a bulleted list. And in the next video tutorial, I'll show you how you make them link.